71-year-old Timothy Ted McCarthy is retired from the NYPD, but prides himself on staying sound in mind and body. I see other people, you know, and they're around the same age as me, and I don't think they're as spry as me or maybe mentally alert. With a family history of dementia, Ted is determined to stay healthy as long as he can. When I say begin, I would like you to repeat alternate letters of your alphabet out loud. Researchers studying the link between mobility and cognition are using a new approach, a real-time imaging system called FNIRS, Functional Near-Infrared Spectroscopy. FNIRS uses light to monitor changes in blood oxygenation in a person's prefrontal cortex. Which is involved in many important higher order functionings like uh, task switching and uh, organization, planning, everything that we need on a daily basis. During tests, researchers ask participants to walk and talk at the same time. And dividing this attention sometimes is a problem either when you get old or uh, when you have early signs of disease in the brain like Alzheimer's or Parkinson's or strokes. Begin. With FNIRS, patients are able to move around freely, unlike an MRI. Researchers say those who have mild Parkinsonian symptoms don't look like they're having a tough time. Until you examine the brain using the FNIRS and then you discover they're actually straining their brain to do a simple task. Researchers say by identifying problems early on, they can intervene right away. For 71, I think I'm doing okay. I'm Marty Salt reporting.